Peace and prosperity guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Yes, another video with this beautiful background. Another video with me in this nice shade of yellow, which has kind of like an earthy tone to it. I don't know if you can see through the camera, it really compliments my skin. Yes, another video with my skin glowing. And yeah, I'm feeling a lot better, I'm feeling well. What am I talking about in this video? I was thinking that I want to touch a bit on love. Oh, love. Yes, love. What is love? Well, we actually just had a philosophy class where, you know, in my mind, I think, you know, love is acceptance, is understanding, inner standing. Um, but love is actually service. Love is service. But I'm going to, that's, that's not what I came to talk about. It just came to mind because we just went through that. But I'm actually here to ex talk about um, relationships and love. So as you know, guys, um, or if you didn't know, I've been void of these two important factors of being human which is love and relationships. And if you didn't know my tattoo, it says, I am a human becoming, help me to become. What does that mean? It means that all the crazy avenues of life, even the sci-fi stuff I've experienced, oh, I'm fearless. All of these crazy adventures of life I've done, the things that people are not so good at, you know? Even this kind of stuff. But what, are the, what is the thing that usual day-to-day -day people are good at? Relationships and love. Standard from birth, we are nurtured by parents, so we already have that instilled in us. Me, on the other hand, I went the other way and that led me to experience all this other kind of stuff. So, when I done an astrological reading in 2022, before I moved into the ashram, um, his name is Richard Orgone Energy. Check him out on Instagram. I highly recommend him for a Vedic reading. If you really want to deepen your level of discovery and knowledge of self, highly recommend this guy i'll maybe leave the link in the description for his instagram but basically when i done this reading he told me that venus venus the planet of love and beauty is my chart ruler and i didn't know what a chart ruler was because i only had studied mundane astrology western astrology and um and uh, basically that means sorry there's just someone in the window there. there's a nice house here so maybe i'm gonna keep the noise down and not get too passionate but basically, what that meant for me, Venus being my chart ruler, was that love is a big part of my life. And I said to him, bro, I've been 30 years on the path, void of love, void of relationships. How can this be? And he said, no, the life you are coming into now, you are going to integrate. You are, going to, you're here, you are here to experience love in its divine, pure form. And I was like, wow, man, I was getting worried, you know, I was getting a bit worried on, um, you know, this whole, like I said, I'm a human becoming, help me to become, like, am I actually going to be able to experience what other humans are experiencing, or am I just going to be an ET? Am I just here to be an ET and live this weird sci-fi movie, or am I going to do the whole usual normal thing of, you know, experiencing love and relationships? So what happened to me, guys? <sighs> recently, like I, I, I touched on it briefly about in what I experienced in this yoga therapy course that I met this, this girl. And also I touched on it also on the, I don't know if I'm going to put that video out talking about the, the, the tantric um, ways of um, intercourse and this connection that I had. And I just want to say that, wow, the, um, what I got to experience um, with this female who at first, you know, there was a bit of resistance. There was a bit of resistance. Um, it was because there were some barriers in the way, should I say. And it was also on Forbidden Turf. You know, the setting was an ashram. So this is why it was something straight from a love movie because there were so many elements to it that made it just like, yeah, not your average kind of, um, but you know me, nothing in my life is average and, and linear. So, but I just wanted to speak about the potentialities of love. And for someone like me, who's never been in a, a real relationship, um, I've, you know, I always thought, man, how, what am I going to be like in a relationship? What is the potential of my love? And it turns out that the, the skills, the love I exhibited, um, it was, I'm not going to say ancient. Uh, why ancient came to mind is because, actually, guys, because I've studied the path, you know, I've inherited knowledge, I realized that we have lived numerous and numerous previous lives. So when it was actually time for me, 
and this could be something in the astrological chart that unlocked this part of my life, this, this, this journey of experiencing love and relationships, that, oh, it became oh so natural to me. Now, it's not like me all of a sudden never working, never having um, a trade, and then suddenly becoming an electrician because I learned it in a past life. I don't know if it works like that, but love, the art of love and relationships was something that I just took to like that. Wow. The elements agree, the elements agree. Wow, a nice cool breeze is, is much needed. So what I was going to say is that, yeah, I was really surprised at the um, how my loving was, how it was so sweet, how it was so generous. Um, of course, the right partner is should be there to encourage um, this behavior. And she definitely brought out all of these good qualities in me. And this is another thing that I realized that really helped rebuild my sense of self and my identity. Because you know, because I'm always changing, you've probably seen my videos and realized how much I'm flipping all the time from up here, down there, this kind of character, that kind of character. My sense of self is a bit, you know, confused. It's a bit confused from childhood, from birth, many other factors um, to do with that kind of stuff. So what I experienced with her really embedded in me the qualities that I have. I unlocked a lot of skills, should I say, without getting into too much details, I unlocked a lot of potential, um, even things like poetry, guys. Um, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but from time to time I write, I write captions that just come out and it's like nice poetry. Well, when I was experiencing the time with this girl, I made some sweet ass poems, man. I didn't know um, how to express. I was inspired by her, actually. She said she wrote a poem and I was like, you know what? I can, I can write poems. I can write poems. Let me write something. And then wow, these beautiful poems started coming out and then she slowly started to compliment me on you know, all these good factors that I have and I was like, wow, man, but definitely being, being in a duo in this lifetime um, is powerful and I definitely feel that unless you're like Brahmachari and looking to look at this leaf and you're looking to stay in the ashram for the rest of your life, which I initially thought that was the path for me because um, that was my wound speaking, that was my rejection wounds of not, not thinking I'm not capable of love, not worthy of love, and okay, if it's not happening, then I'm just gonna go live in a temple, and, um, and yeah, just be easy that way. But now, actually, I realize, like it says in my chart, I'm actually here to experience divine love. And like I touched on that video, maybe it's out, maybe it's not out, the path, the tantric path, I am going to share some more tips when I know more and I learn more about the tantric path, how to, um, how to extend, how to cultivate this powerful energy that we have within us. Like I keep saying that sexual energy is the creative life force. So um, we can work wonders with this. It's a very healing energy. And I'm also all about the secrets of life um, due to certain practices that I do. And th this definitely was one of them. So um, yeah, but definitely finding, finding the right partner and yeah, experiencing love really took me out of um, an anger fueled state so my high energy often at times it's not <laughs> it's not the right fuel yes it's a powerful energy yes it's undeniable but however that energy is not sustainable and it's not good for my nervous system so yeah actually being being with this female really helped balance me really complimented me and um yeah i became soft and was in the feminine but also it elevated my masculine to a different degree it elevated my masculine to a different degree so i forgot the point i was saying how much time have I spent in nine minutes now? So what else can I talk about? There was probably other things that I wanted to speak on, um, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, you guys will be glad to know that as short as it was, um, it was very sweet. It was a very sweet thing. Um, and I really found someone um, to compliment and activate this, um, this energy within, within, within me that has always been there. But yeah, due to some karma, some karmic reasons, and again, this stuff can probably be found in the astrological chart. Past, present and future can be found in, in the birth chart, guys. If you know your time of birth, highly recommend doing a reading, getting a reading done. In the future, I will be bringing astrology videos. Like I say, I'm, I'm hard into astrology. I've been reading people's charts here as well. So in the future, yeah, I will be able to tap into that. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And I don't have much more to say. I just thought, you know, I'm just kind of sharing, sharing my mind with you guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace.